I have a parcel. We are still in December right now. I'm not going to post this until after Christmas because what's inside is actually a Christmas present. I'll just show you what it is. Just cut it open, so let's have a little look. This is a dwarf Granny Smith. So look here, they've tied it down so it can't move in transport. That's really quite clever, isn't it? Just have to get that sort of string off. Look at that, it's a really nice size. It was actually listed as being ready to fruit. So I might get my first few Granny Smiths this year. Now I know I have loads of apple trees already. Um, I have six, but seven is my lucky number. And there's a reason I'm getting this. Um, Granny Smiths are my husband's favorite apples. I'm always buying them from, I actually don't really like them very much myself, but I figured if I'm going to have a seventh apple tree, I ought to have his favorite. I've got my favorite. My favorite is really red ones, like Pink Lady. I've got one similar to that. It's called Red Devil. Really tasty apples. But I'm going to get this one potted up and it won't take much to hide it away from my husband because he never really looks at plants that much. So I'll hide it so well, put it somewhere in the garden and, um, and then let him see it at Christmas. His present, I'm sure he'll love it. But it looks like a really good one. I like how they've pruned it properly already. So it's already got this little cut here, which is going to enable it just to have a nice shape. It looks really good. And another good thing about getting a Granny Smith is I already have a Golden Delicious. And that is a perfect pollination partner for Granny Smith. It's actually on the list. I mean, so are, most apples, I think, can probably cross-pollinate each other as long as they fruit and flower, well, flower at the same time, but these ones are listed as being pollination partners for each other. So I actually am planning on keeping this guy, as he's a dwarf, he can live in a nice big pot. So I'm going to keep him on a pot. He is originally from Australia, and so they, they do like warmer summers, and I want to put him in a really sunny spot, which will be the patio. And then when he's flowering, I'm going to put him right next to my little golden delicious, and they can sort of cross-pollinate each other, then they can go onto the patio. The garden's so small, so even if they're like as far away from each other as they can get, they'll still be close enough to cross-pollinate. Um, and then I will let him overwinter in the most protected spot I have, which is a little tiny courtyard I've got. So I'll get him all potted up. This is so lovely. I must take him outside now so he doesn't get too warmed up. He's in the house, and that's not a good, a good spot for him. But I'm really happy with him. myself a nice little pot for it. I just didn't have anything a decent size. This is quite a good sized one and I think I can eventually put the repot the tree in a bigger pot as it grows but this is a good starting one. Um, it was 50% off and it's also really frost proof so that's great. It's a nice ceramic one so it looks really I mean I like it. It looks a bit like a dustbin to be honest but it's it is ceramic and it looks good and it's going to keep the roots nice and alive over winter. So I'll just get this guy potted out now. I'm just checking that he fits well in there and it does look like a perfect fit. I mean, I'm supposed to be hiding him until Christmas and he's right outside the kitchen window. But I don't think my husband will notice at all, so I'm not worried. 
if he does notice, he'll just think it's a tree. You know, he won't notice what kind of tree it is. Well, that's for him, obviously. So it'll be fun to see if he does actually notice. So there's my little hole. I, I shaped it with the pot, so it makes it really easy just to slot the whole root ball in there in a minute. The root square. But um, I've added some fish blood and bone and some root grow to the hole. Just to get an extra boost there. Here are the two things. I mean, they always say the best thing to add to a tree when you're planting it is well-rotted manure, but I don't actually have any of that, so we're going for this. This is really going to help the roots get settled in, I think, I hope. And get it ready to start flowering this summer because it's supposed to be ready to start flowering, so it's super exciting. So there's the root ball. Looks really good. Just get it in its little home. I'm just going to sprinkle it with some of that mycorrhizal fungi. Of root grow. Sprinkle all the roots with that too. That'll just help them a bit more. Do it the whole way around and then get it into the little hole. So look at that! Isn't that beautiful tree? Little Granny Smith. That's so lovely. Really fits in there nicely. And I think I can just repot it again next year. But it should do for the first year. I think this looks really well suited to that pot. I'm just going to get some leaves from the garden and add them as a bit of mulch for the top. So as one of the last things, I've just mixed up two capfuls of this with about five litres of water. I'm just going to give it a really good drink now. It seems a little bit counterintuitive to be kind of feeding a, a tree that's dormant. Especially at this time of year, you don't want it to wake up or anything, but as we're planting, they can get a bit of a shock too. I mean, it shouldn't give them any shock because they are dormant but this is just going to help them I hope just help them develop their roots just get it nice and settled in and all the excess water can just run through the bottom a bag full of nice leaves from the garden I'll just add that as mulch we're having really cold weather now it's it gets down to sort of minus four degrees celsius it's predicted to do that if the cold is it's going to get this the next couple this week then the next couple of days so minus four degrees celsius minus four degrees celsius is maybe about minus 24 degrees fahrenheit so cold for us very cold for us we're not used to that kind of weather so there i'm just gonna let him be all mulch like that i don't usually like to put too much right around the Stem, but he is in a pot, so there's not that much space. And I also figure, if, you know, if it's in a wood, then the leaves would just fall thick and fast and cover the whole bits. There we go. Subject is nice and, and safe in there. Gorgeous little thing. Look at that. Beautiful Granny Smith. 